this is Brian Gilliotti. So, uh, still in the same location off of Route 9 North, Chester area. So, um, something just rung a bell about this stone. Um, first, I thought it was a perch stone, but still could be. But I think it's more likely stone that has been broken up over many thousands of years through a process of uh, ice expansion type weathering. But that doesn't rule out that it could have had a lithic calendrical significance. First thing I, that made me wonder about it was if you see that stone sticking up right beneath the tree. To me, that was a marker stone. I didn't notice any north-south relationships with this stone. So, uh, that clue wasn't there, but when approaching this stone, looks like uh, a lot of little ceremonial stones that have been placed. in a 330 degree relationship with what I call now the Druid Stone. That's the Druid Stone. Anything beyond that maybe? We keep going in a 330 degree relationship. Uh, you'll come across this thing right here. <laughs> just so happened to be randomly plopped on this uh, bedrock surface here now to me that's a marker stone so it was marking something and it could have been marking this we can make a case that this Stone here it's really just formed, really formed as it did because of weathering patterns. That stone over there is a marker stone. And it goes in a 330 degree relationship with the Druid stone. Now from the Druid stone, Notice some things right away. Well, I measured them out, confirmed them. But that very large glacial erratic that you see, I might be able to see right there. That is due east of the uh, Druid Stone. Another thing I noticed. You won't be able to see it. So I'm gonna walk right toward it. Well, first of all, let me stop. Whoa! <laughs> the hill over there. Let me magnify it. That hill. There is a stone, a flat stone, right on the top of that hill that is in a 15 degree relationship with the Druid stone. So let me walk over there first to show you what I'm talking about. Again, these were all measured out before I took the video.
There we are. Big flat pancake stone. Right here. Yeah. Well, again, this is a marker stone. I liken this to a, perhaps a meditation stone. It's right on top of the hill. Again, you, know, you can always say, you know, it's just put there by forces of nature. And I could always say, uh, no, it was, uh, could have been put there. Look, there's like a little head could be an effigy of an animal, maybe a turtle. I mean, you can't definitively prove me wrong and you can't definitively, I can't definitively prove myself right and you wrong as well. We'll never know. So one way or the other. And to end this video segment, I'm gonna go to the other stone. They call the diamond stone. The diamond stone right there and that's in a 60 degree relationship if I'm not mistaken I better measure that again a lot of numbers gotta remember them all there we go the diamond stone again forces of nature versus perhaps deliberately manipulated you can't prove definitively 100% either side but it is in a 60 degree relationship with the druid stone which if I magnify it oops oh boy can't get it to work there we go let's see there it is right under the tree you could probably barely make it out right there so there's yet more relationships that I need to uh, cover and I'll get to that